Paltronic 50. The Paltronic 50 electronic control system is a CE conformant load moment limiting system in accordance with the machine directives and is available for all Palfinger truck loading cranes. It has a modular setup and limits the crane in all critical situations, even if it's equipped with an additional system, such as, for example, a fly jib. Further stabilizer monitoring systems, as well as systems for reduced working areas, can be integrated into the system. When the power takeoff is switched on, the Paltronic 50 is supplied with the power and starts up. It's ready for operation as soon as the OLP diode flashes. Paltronic 50 cannot start automatically when the emergency off button is activated. The system will only start automatically when all the emergency off buttons on the crane are released. By activating the on-off button during operation, the system is switched off and on again. If the on-off buttons are not lit, no crane movement is possible. A capacity indicator permanently shows the crane or fly jib capacity if it exceeds 60%. If 90% of the limit is reached, an intermittent acoustic warning signal sounds, which can be deactivated by operating the OLP button. If the crane is loaded further, an overload situation occurs and a constant acoustic warning horn sounds. The crane capacity indicators start to flash. At the same time, the cylinder triggering the overload is indicated by a red light. This can be caused by reaching the maximum load on the main lifting cylinder or on the fly jib knuckle boom cylinder reaching the maximum allowed force on the rope winch or reaching a programmed maximum in a reduced working area such as a stability limit of the vehicle. In an overload situation, all the functions increasing the load moment in the position concerned are blocked. The crane can only be moved in a way which reduces the load moment for example, by retracting the fly jib if the fly jib is in overload. Owing to the possible combinations with additional equipment, the logic of the system is highly complex and therefore cannot be explained in detail here. If the loading is reduced again by a corresponding movement, all crane functions are released. As with many load moment limitation systems, a pressure peak caused by lifting up the main boom or the fly jib cylinder to the maximum causes a peak pressure, which triggers the overload system. This so-called false overload can be released by operating the OLP button, the LED constantly flashes, and by lowering the overloaded cylinder. This procedure cannot be repeated as long as the OLP light is flashing. The functioning of the system can be checked using the artificially created overload situation. If the crane is equipped with a geometry control system, also boom angles, especially in steep working positions, these angles are monitored by Paltronic 50. If this monitoring system acts, for example, because the crane is in a 85 degree boom position, all movements that increase the angle are blocked. Further, the maximum lifting capacity is adjusted to the boom angle and are included in the overload protection system.
If the boom angle monitoring system is triggered by the main lifting cylinder, Paltronic shows a red flashing light for crane and reduced working area simultaneously. In a similar way, it shows the lights for fly jib and reduced working area if the fly jib angle is the reason for the overload situation. Paltronic also allows the programming of free limits as this functionality might be required for special installations. In this case, the installation company must inform the customer about the correct functionality of the machine. Finally, each Paltronic system is fitted with a digital status display, which explains precise details of the current operating condition to the Palfinger service technician. In the event of a problem, it's useful to inform the service personnel of this code by telephone.